Hi guys, it's Mike and you're joining me in the KOH studio in Dubai. Today I'm going to take you through a little arm workout, okay? A little bit of biceps and triceps in a superset format. Some's going to be on suspension on the KOH and some's going to be on resistance. There's four exercises. I'm going to go around four rounds, so about 16 cumulative sets, okay? Which is a nice amount for arms. I'll take you through the coaching points and I'll go through progressions and regressions on a few of the exercises. It won't take long, guys, so no excuses. Okay guys, the first exercise is a suspended curl. All the exercises today will be from a high anchor point, okay? Nice and simple. We're gonna use, as we know, the K weight is always a core exercise. So our starting position, we're gonna extend our arms and tip into this inverted position, okay? From here, my hands are pronated. If you wanna make this more difficult, guys, so your progression would be to walk your feet towards the anchor point, creating a more acute angle with your body, okay? Like I said, the core elements, we wanna be squeezing our glutes and engaging our stomach, staying nice and tight. Our hands are pronated, which means turned over, which is our start position. Fully extended from here, we're gonna, as we pull in, we're gonna turn our hands and our finish point with our hands is in our eye line or, or towards our temples really, okay guys? From here, we're gonna slowly control the tempo down back to that full extension position and then turn or internally turn our hands. From there again, take a, t a, take a nice deep breath. Stay tight. And reverse the motion. That's difficult, guys. If you want a little bit of a regression from there, you make it a little bit easier. You walk away from the anger point, making your body angle a little less acute. Hands turned over. Squeeze in, getting those hands towards our eye line and our temples. Control the temple down, and then turn your hands over, internally rotate. We're gonna go for about 10 to 12 reps on them, guys, okay? And then we're gonna go into our tricep exercise. Okay, well done on your first exercise, guys. That was biceps. Exercise number two is the suspended tricep extension. So the other side of the arm, okay? We're gonna keep the KO8 on a high anchor point and on the suspension mode. So let's get stuck in. Okay, guys, so starting position for this, I'm gonna walk out until the suspension training is taut, okay? So a nice mediocre um, amount of resistance would be about 45 degrees with your body angle. As ever again, the core is activated, the glutes are tight. If you wanna make this more difficult, guys, you can walk towards the an anchor point and create a more acute angle with your body. Again, I'm gonna stay pretty comfortable at about 45. A nice coaching starting point on this is to have your upper arm or your humerus in line and touching your ears. And that's a return point every time, okay? So from here, all I'm thinking of doing is flexing at the elbow, Okay, I'm not moving my body, that's like a plank. My upper arms are still touching my ears and then I'm controlling and extending my arms and getting a really tight contraction in my tricep. Really good for the long head of the tricep, this. It's a biarticulate muscle, which means it crosses the shoulder. So we can't really move. You're locked in this plank position. Nice and controlled, Remem remember your breathing. <sighs> nice, tight, braced core and extend, really tough guys. If that's a little bit difficult at 45 degrees, we're gonna walk away from the anchor point, little bit of a less acute body position and same movement, okay guys? Really tough exercise and really nice for three heads of the, the tricep. Okay guys, now we're gonna go back to biceps, only this time we're gonna go to resistance mode. So we're gonna take the black carabiner off Clip it up nice and tidily, okay, so we're on resistance. I've gone for one black and one red for the purpose of the demonstration, but you wanna choose a resistance that's sort of applicable to you and then start there, and if you wanna go up, go up. If you wanna go down, go down, okay, guys? For this, I'm gonna take it down to the floor, though. Okay, guys, so we're down on the floor now. What I've done is I've actually preloaded the band, so there's already resistance there, and my arms are fully extended. The reason my knees are up is we're actually gonna go to, into something like a preacher curl, okay? So I'm gonna turn my hands towards me and then I'm gonna use my knees as purchase, a purchase point or a fulcrum for my, for my arms. From here, before I start the curl, I'm gonna fully stretch my arms out, fully extend. And then from there, I'm gonna curl in again to that temple and eye line point and squeeze and then let it back out, okay? 
And the reason I fully extend is to just fully stretch out that strength curve and range of motion and squeeze it back in. Everything with real intention. I can't use any momentum and inertia because my arms are locked. I'm controlling and using the resistance of the band, which is getting harder as I get in and controlling each and every rep through the range of motion. Okay, another 10, 10 to 12 of these guys. I'm gonna go for four sets. Okay, final exercise of the day, guys. This is a resisted tricep push down, okay? So again, I'm on a high anchor point and I'm on the same amount of resistance as the, uh, as the bicep curl variation. This is very similar to, the, um, to an inner gym when you're doing it on a cable machine. However, with the bands, it gets tougher towards that end of range, okay guys? If you're ready, let's go. Okay guys, so this is how I want you to start. I've already got the bands loaded, okay? So there's a little bit of tension on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself set in the right position first. And the way I do this is I break at the hips and I go into a hinge position, okay? The bands are already trying to pull away from my body. From here, I pull down and I tuck my arms close to my side. I'm gonna get my shoulders, my upper shoulder, my scapula and my shoulder blades together and my shoulders down. From here, I'm gonna turn my hands and pronate them towards the floor. Gonna take a deep breath, okay? And then I'm gonna extend my arms. Right at the end, I'm just gonna just slightly turn, internally rotate and then let the tension back off. Keep this shoulder girdle tight every time. Deep breath, chest up and down and squeeze. Loads of tension there, guys, okay? And down and squeeze that little corkscrew at the end. Controlled movements. Okay, this is the advanced version, guys. It's actually really tough. You can feel your lower back working and your core. I'm gonna take you through a regressed version now, okay? So this is one strap. From here, we're gonna go in a slightly wider base, okay? With a wider base, that gives you a little bit more of a stable platform. From here again, I'm gonna go into this hinge position. It also helps that I have a little bit of resistance at the bottom of the strap, so it stops my hands slipping. From here, I'm gonna get, again, get tension, get my elbows tight, my shoulder girdle tight and back. And then I'm gonna extend down between my legs and control the movement. Let it up, fully extend, squeeze your triceps and down. Nice and controlled. Okay guys, again, rep ranges. I'm gonna look for a 10 to a 12 on that and we're going for four sets. Okay guys, that was my go-to four exercises for arms in a lovely little superset pattern. I'd like you to comment in the section below if you enjoyed it and what you'd like to see in the future, okay guys? All the best and enjoy.